We begin with brand new developments in a hit and run in New Tampa involving a father and son on their bikes. Overnight, we learned the tragic news that the father, Pedro Aguerriberi, died from his injuries. It's good ABC Action News anchor Lauren St. Germain joining us live near where that crash happened on New Tampa Boulevard. Now, Lauren, his two kids were involved in that crash. Do we have any idea how they're doing this morning? James and Dia, we do know that both children have injuries. One has serious injuries, the other one not as bad, and the doctors say they should be okay. But I do want to let you know we are learning breaking news right now that Tampa police arrested and charged a man named Mikeese Morse. They arrested him around 10 o'clock last night, and he now officially faces charges of premeditated murder in the first degree, leaving the scene of a crash with death and injuries, and also two counts of attempted murder. We know he's in the Hillsborough County Jail right now. So I want to show you this is where the accident happened around here. This is off of New Tampa Boulevard. So police tell us that the car actually went across the grassy median and ended up hitting a father and two children as they were just riding their bike along this path. Those kids were both under the age of 10. You can't even imagine what they went through yesterday. So police also found this car that you see right here in the subdivision. They linked that car to the hit and run and they were also taking Mikey Morse. They took him into custody yesterday, started questioning him. And again, we know that they have officially charged him with several counts. We're working to get more updates from Tampa police this morning, just kind of what answers they learned from him, um, as well as we're working to find out if he's going to have a court appearance this morning. We'll keep you updated throughout the morning on abcactionnews.com on air and on our free ABC Action News mobile app. Reporting live in New Tampa, I'm Lauren St. Germain for ABC Action News.